Roger, to the Millennium Stadium for the Honiton Cup final. Is that a, gr a ground you've played at before? No, no, it's um, it's not. It's I've never even been there to watch actually, but it's one of the only stadiums that, or the main stadiums that I haven't played in within within Britain. So, looking forward to it. It's always an unbelievable atmosphere whenever you watch it on TV there. So, um, I'm sure Saturday will be no different. Are you one of the players who likes playing at the bigger stages? Do you, do you relish that? Definitely, yeah. That's why we all play. We really try and play in as big a games as possible and. Um, you know, there's nothing like being tested on the big occasion. Uh, I think pressure brings out the best in, in, in big players. So uh, certainly, these are the games that we're all looking forward to playing. Obviously, hugely disappointing for you guys at the weekend, but I'm sure you didn't need a lift in the week, did you, to remind you of this game? No, it, yeah, disappointing last weekend. Um, but that was, you know, come Monday morning, it was, it was all forgotten. You know, a few, a few uh, bruised bodies, but. We had it. We took it easy on the Monday. Tuesday we came in and, and everyone was training. You know, as fresh as we had been all season. Um, and massively looking forward to the, the weekend. We've put last weekend behind us now, so um, everyone's fresh in the head and, and raring to go for this weekend. Does it help that this is your last game of the season? Does it mean you can just throw it all in, all or nothing? I don't know if that's the case. I think last weekend we threw everything in as well. You know. Um, I think that even not just last weekend. I think the you know the last few games have, have been a bit like that. You know, with the games that we've all had to win and um, to get where we are now. So you know you can't uh, you can't think just because it's the last game you're just going to put your body on the line. You've got to do that every week, and I think that's what we have been doing. But thankfully, thankfully, um, you know, pretty much we've remained injury free. Uh, we've got a you know almost a full strength squad. Um, and that's been one of the keys to our successes, but um, certainly we'll, we'll not leave, leave anything behind on the pitch on Saturday. Leinster as a team, I guess it's pretty similar to the stadium. Um, you're coming up against some big names there. Is that the kind of thing you relish as well? Yeah, um, it's always good to play against the best players, and there's no um, there's no better team than Leinster at the minute in Europe. They're full of uh, international class players. You know, some world class players winning them, and um, you know that if you don't, if you're not going to make your best. You'll, uh, they can make you look stupid so it's very important that we take lessons from um, situations in the past where we haven't progressed you, you look at last week last weekend even for example and um, you know last uh, the European Cup last year in Munster that um, you got to play for the whole 80 minutes and, and not just minutes it's that it could be down to seconds that if you don't concentrate uh, mentally for the whole game um, you know it could take one or two seconds just to to let in a try and that, that could be the game over. I think the, the physicality will look after itself, it's just the mental kind of mindset is just as important. And just finally, in a word, sum up your feelings ahead of this weekend. How are you feeling? Excited.